Hey guys, it's Joe with PocketNow.com. Android 4.2 brought with it a new feature, and that's multi-user support, at least on tablets anyway. So let's go take a look at how we can set that up, switch between users, and even delete users when we don't need them anymore. And we'll talk about a couple things that you probably want to keep in mind before you get too excited about multi-user. So here we've got a Nexus 10, it's running Android 4.2, and I've only got one user. Let's go ahead and unlock it. From here, we're gonna go into settings, and you'll notice I've got uh, my own avatar up here. This is me, this is the current user. If we open that up, you'll see information about me. Let's add a new user. Go over to settings, and we're gonna come down to users. This is me my name, my nickname, owner info, whatnot, and other users. Notice there are none, at least not currently. So let's add one, some information for us. We'll say okay. Now it's asking us if we want to set up the user and we have to make sure that we have enough available space on the tablet so that they can have all of their stuff. So that's the first caveat. The first thing you need to know is Every user that you add is going to take up extra space on the device and it's not going to be available to you until you delete that user. So keep that in mind. If you've got a limited storage capacity device, an 8 or 16 gig tablet, you'll need to be a little more careful than if you have a 32. So now you notice down here I've got me and I've got this new user. And it doesn't take too long to switch between the two. It's not quite as fast as I'd like it to be, but there you go, I can switch right over to it. And let's unlock. And the first thing you're met with is, well, the same thing that you get when you have a brand new tablet. It's asking you to step through the process. I'm gonna say no that I don't have that. I'm not gonna get an account now, yada, yada, yada. And let's put in Joe uh, Rogers, how about that? I'll be Mr. Rogers for today. Joe Roger. And we are now complete. Same thing, we've got our basic desktop, our home screens, nothing here because I didn't set up a Google account. I can always go in and add one of those over here in settings and under accounts. See, I have none, I can add an account right in there. So you can come back and do that at a later time. Once you've done that, hey, it's great, you've got your own nice little user space. So if you're a parent and you have a kid, here you go, now you can give them your tablet and they can mess up their own thing and short of doing physical damage, they're not gonna mess up your save games or reply to emails that you don't want them to or uh, all that kind of fun stuff. So switching users, come up here. It's just as simple as that. Again, takes a little bit of time to swap out that user space and then we can log right in and you'll notice that this is my desktop right there. Okay, so now I don't want this user on my tablet anymore. How do I get rid of it? Go back into settings and back down to users. Primary user you can't get rid of without doing a factory reset, at least not as far as I know. Other users, hit that little delete. Are you sure? Yep, let's delete it and gone. Just as easy as that. One other thing that you want to keep in mind, and that has to do with custom ROMs and flashing images. If you are using Android 4.2 and you are using multi-users, or arguably even if you're not, it might mess with the SD storage space and start nesting folders deeper and deeper and deeper until you run out of space, and it's kind of a bug. A lot of the, uh, the recovery makers and, uh, and whatnot are addressing that, but keep it in mind, it's a little bit early in the game. You shouldn't be doing multi-user on smartphones anyway, at least not according to Google, but we really don't know why that is. Anyway, showing off multiple users on Android 4.2 Jellybean for Pocket Now. I'm Joe Levi. Thanks for watching.